you had a big thing happen that yeah. you guys were brought in to be a part of what's known as the Pineapple Revival. Right. Yeah. Why? Okay, so what is that? <laughs> Why was it called the Pineapple mm. Revival? What happened? Yeah. Well, you know, at the when, when we're in that season of being really hungry, we about we had about five months of really going after God and um, pressing in. We're praying every day. And that season ultimately culminated mm. one night we were woken up with an angel standing Whoa. on the yeah. end of our bed. Yeah. Come on, God. Yeah. And I had See, that's never the had... result of being hungry and going for it. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Right. I had never had any kind of experience like that before. No. Jody um, has had, had I've some... I've always been a seer, but this was different. Yeah. This encounter was different. Mm. And, the, and the thing that's really cool yeah. about this encounter, as you guys are going to unfold it right now, mm. is that you both saw the angel. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. Detail that. Yeah. Well, you know... We had been invited by a ministry friend. So after we'd been pastors, we, we had like a year off. I mean, we were still kind of ministering, but he invited us to come on the road and travel. And we knew it was like a new season. And so we were yeah. praying, God, are you calling us to step back out into this itinerant kind of ministry? Yeah. And we prayed and we heard nothing. And so that night we went to bed and, and around about 1230, essentially mm. the power of God came in our room and I woke up screaming because mm. of the electricity and the wow. power that yeah. was in the room. And my entire body was shaking, vibrating. And I woke up and I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. Wow. And while I'm screaming, Jody's hitting me. I discover yeah. she's she's like whacking me. She's like, Ben, 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 there's an angel in the room. There's an angel. So both of you. Yeah, yeah. we both woke up at the same time with okay, this so angel. You, you felt the electricity did, and you saw it? Did yeah. you see the angel? Yeah. What did the angel look like? It was about... 10 foot tall, brilliant white light, although white doesn't even begin to describe it. It was just light. And uh, he was standing there, foot either side of the end of our bed, so not uh, not beside our bed, on our bed, literally with a golden uh, sash and staring at us, glaring at us with a... Um, a very fierce look. That's mm. the way I can describe it. I oh. knew immediately we weren't in trouble, but I knew that this is a life-changing moment oh, right wow. now. There was a seriousness mm. to it, and you could feel it. Yeah, right. It was a direct commissioning from the Lord. You know, the wow. Lord spoke yeah. really clearly then out of Zechariah chapter four. Okay, yeah. and it, essentially, it was a in Zechariah chapter four. There's these two olive trees and these yeah. golden right. pipes, mm -hmm. and from the olive trees, the, the oil flows down the pipes yeah. to the lampstand and that lampstand represents the church and this, that's the fire and right. the oil keeps that fire burning right. and so God spoke to us and gave us a commission start a ministry call it pour it out ministries yeah. mm -hmm. because in Zechariah 4 there it actually said these are the two who are anointed to pour out golden lamp oil worldwide mm. yeah that's and, the last verse in that chapter right yeah. right right so look I, I want to encourage you that you know some people will watch programs where people talk about angelic visitations and all of that but if you've had a real angelic visitation, like Ben and Jody have, you're going to always have a scripture that will be given to you. Mm. I mean, if you've had an angelic um, visitation and wondered, is this really an angel? Am I, you know, did I just eat too much pizza last night? Or yeah. am I making this up? You know, ask the Lord to give you a scripture, and He will. Mm. And that is the proof of the pudding. Every mm. single angelic visitation I've ever gotten, the Lord gave me a scripture to wow. show me the connection wow. between wow. what the angel yeah. was doing and what he had brought as a yeah. message to me. Yeah. And just to encourage you in that Zechariah, I know you know this, yeah. but in that Zechariah chapter about that, you know, the two oil, yeah. the two trees being the oil poured yes. out onto the earth, being used as the messengers, yeah. an angel was taking yeah. Zechariah yeah. Right. through that revelation. Yeah. Right. Isn't yeah. that amazing? It's totally biblical. I know. Right. Totally biblical. So now this proceeded to... Yeah. So that that's important for the Pineapple Revival story because, yeah. you yeah. know, in Zechariah 4, 1, it says, Then the angel returned and awakened me mm -hmm. as a man is wakened from his sleep. And so the Lord confirmed to us that this was an angel of awakening. Yeah. You know? and, so, yeah. and so literally revival. overnight, yes. everything changed for us and we yes. begun to immediately travel in revival ministry. We began wow. to get invited all around the world. 
We went from obscurity. Did the invitations just come? They yeah. literally, they literally the phone just started came. to ring, and mm. God was actually very strict with us. Yeah. yeah. He said, don't ask for any meetings. Yes. Don't tell yeah. people that you're coming. Yeah. He wanted to really mm. build in us that it will, because Zechariah 4, not by yeah. might, not yeah. by but power, but, but by, by my, my spirit, spirit, said the right. Lord. Even finances, though, wasn't it? Right. Right at the beginning, there was such a fear of the Lord over keep our hands off it. Mm. Yeah. And let God do what mm. he was going right. to do. And let me encourage a lot of people, because, you know, uh, and I've seen this a lot lately because of COVID. I've seen a lot of ministers trying to make stuff happen because mm. of the fear of what's been happening in the nations and the yeah. world. And I'm seeing a little witchcrafty, rebellious, like manipul yeah. manipulation going on with people trying to yeah. get connected with people, to, people trying to get invited, yeah. you know, but it's not by power, not by might, but right. by his spirit yeah. that the Lord makes those things happen. So right. just look, let the Lord commission yeah. you. Let him bring the open doors. Yeah. I've never asked for invitations either. Yeah. I've always waited for the Lord to bring mm. it to me. Yeah. So then this is a sign, right. supernatural yeah. sign right. that yeah. this was from the Lord because people started contacting you guys. Yeah. Yes. And okay. you know, just on that verse, you know, I love that verse so much because when you've got no might and yeah. you've got no power, yeah. you can still know that, hey, God, it's by my spirit. Yes. Because sometimes we think, well, I've got to do everything. I've got to try and do this yeah. myself. Mm. Well, that's all very well Like when you feel like you've got someone to talk yeah. to or you've got some strings you can pull or something like right. that. But what happens when you're in this place yeah. of impossibility? You know, and there's something so precious in our relationship and history with Come God yeah. where there is no physical means possible right. that he can provide or he can do something. But you yeah. go, God, I've got no might and I've got no power, but I thank you that it's by my spirit. And it also means that it's not about your connections. Yeah. It's not about your education. Mm. It's not yeah. about your finance, your gifts, your talents, any of yeah. those things. It's by my spirit, says the Lord. Yeah. You know? uh, okay. And just to have everybody be encouraged, look, that if you go read that chapter in Zechariah, it's talking yeah. about he, they're building the temple. Mm -hmm. They've been in captivity. They've been in isolation and captivity. Sounds familiar, right? For <laughs> right. 70 years. Well, we've had it a lot less. But I mean, they had to go back and rebuild the temple, rebuild the city of mm -hmm. Jerusalem. Yeah. And the Lord said, look, it, it's not by your your strength exactly. and your power that this is going to happen. It's by my spirit. My spirit is going to enable you to build. So if you're thinking, how am I going to rebuild my church or start a new ministry yeah. or anything like that? The spirit of God is going to do it. Wait mm -hmm. on the spirit. Get in the presence. Let him cause the building yeah. and the establishing and the rebuilding to happen for you. Amen. Yeah. Now, this led yeah. to the famed. <laughs> right. Pineapple Revival. Right. Yes. So, right, let's talk about that. Well, we drove into, we basically had a, another shift season in yeah. our ministry. Yeah. And we knew that we were going to plant a church. So we prayed, asked the Lord where. Yeah. We ended up on the Sunshine Coast of Australia. We planted a church called Pour It Out Church. And yeah. we immediately began pressing in Come for on. revival. And we had a, an atmosphere of revival every time we met, but we'd never had extended meetings. And right. we were just pressing in, believing for breakthrough, seeing signs, wonders, miracles every time we met mm -hmm. and pressing in. And then we got about, uh, was it three years in? And we knew the Lord was saying, right, he gave me a dream. He gave Ben a word and we knew that we were going to put mm. on a week of meetings. Come on. Yeah. yeah. All right. And so, so that's you went for it. Yeah. We went for it. On a word, though. On a word. Right. You weren't on trying to make it happen. You went through it on the dream and the word. A dream yeah. and a word. Okay. I mean, we've been contending. We're pressing in every week. We're praying for revival. Right. We're decreeing. Yeah. We're speaking. We're praying for our city that God would move and go. And then a suddenly moment yeah. came. Yeah. And so, and he gave us like the date, everything. He yes. says, put on a week of meetings, call right. it the summer of revival. He yeah. gave us the dates right. and so let's encourage people right there look you've been praying and pressing don't stop continue yeah. don't let the situations happening in the earth make you weary or or you know grow weak in yeah. your faith or yeah. grow discouraged in any way keep on pressing because a suddenly moment will come yes right. absolutely right. okay absolutely. absolutely so then what happened yeah so this was about three months out so this was about september god spoke the revival was going to be in january the meetings were going to be in january yeah. so we planned these eight nights of meetings according okay. to what the yeah. lord had said right and so we told our church okay church we want to 
ramp everything up. We didn't yeah. back off. We ramped everything up. We're like, I want you to pray every single day. I said, would you pray for five minutes a day? Would everybody? And Periscope had just come out. And I said, look, I'm going to get on <laughs> Periscope, Periscope, this broadcast app. I'm going to pray for five minutes every day. Would you join me? Well, this kind of blew up and people all around the world started yeah. joining. It never went for five minutes. It'd be like an hour every day where we're praying for revival, you know, and essentially yeah. come January 3, our very first night, there was just an explosion of the Come presence on. of God. Yeah. Now you you said that <laughs> you guys took a selfie stick with a phone on it. Yeah. Aired on Periscope and gaff taped it to a, a right. pole. Yes. Right. And that's this how was you the had your our media ministry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just yeah. did what we did. Yeah. I love yeah. it. But you I know love what? it. We'd often laugh because there's thousands now watching. We're watching yes. the revival, and here it is stuck on a wall. Come yeah. on. You know, it didn't even do widescreen. It was just like a square. Yeah, right, that's right. A tiny little had. thing. Yeah. And but stuff happened. Yeah. Stuff Tell happened. us some of the stuff that happened. Wow. Yeah. In those meetings. Yeah. You know, I mean, we saw so many kinds of different miracles. We saw deliverance. You know, the the presence of God though was so overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. You know, but some of the miracles. I mean, one of our favorite ones is that a lady was uh, was healed of Parkinson's disease. Wow. Yeah. Come and on. just recently, so we passed a five year mark, and yeah. uh, and you know, she was sharing with us, and she posted it publicly about how mm. she'd been given a diagnosis that she was going to die, and wow. that she had about a year. And at the absolute maximum, she would have five years, and yeah. then that would be a really rough journey. And, right. and she came to the revival. Mm. Um, it was like, and she actually says it was like a last hurrah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Well, like, like my last pass. Right. right. Yeah. The Hail Mary pass in the game. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. It really was. Yeah. yeah. It was. And so God just touched her, and she was she was just healed. She was delivered wow. of Parkinson's disease. She. It's funny because, well, I mean, it is kind of funny, but you know, like most people came to the revival, got touched by God, and started shaking. Yeah. What yeah. happened to her is she came <laughs> shaking. <laughs> And stop shaking. Stop shaking. And you that was God. the miracle. It's like, you know, because she's got the shaking happening and she Come was touched on. by God. And she's like, for the first time, all the yeah, shaking was, and oh, that went. She, she fell out under the power well, of God. I remember and, even praying for her and thinking there wasn't much going on because she was so still uh, and, and quiet. And she and must I'm, have been thinking, yes. hallelujah, <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. praise the Lord. Right. <laughs> it was, she was. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love that. You had like, you also had a little girl that was healed there. Yeah. Um, was she deaf or was Yeah, it? she was completely deaf in one ear. So she'd never heard out of this ear. And there was a word of knowledge. Yeah. One of our interns had a word of knowledge for someone with hearing problems. And so myself and uh, Hannah, we prayed for this little girl. Mm. And you know, you do like the, the click test, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like, Snap okay, I'm going to click on the on the good side here. Now tell me, can you hear anything over here? And at yeah. first it was like, no, I can hear nothing. Uh -huh. And then so we yeah. prayed. We just released the healing power of God. Yeah. And then she's, and, and all of a sudden she's hearing out of this ear. And I said, so how good is it? Like, how much can you hear? And she's like, oh, 95%. Ah! <laughs> right? like, this is a nine-year-old girl. She's like, oh no, it's 95%, oh 95%. We're like, we'll take it, hallelujah, Jesus. You know, but just to see this little girl, and of course the mom was so impacted, oh, they booked her for kind of surgery and all kinds of stuff. Wow. But, you know, just in one moment, you know? Yeah. And this is what happens in revival is that Jesus mm. gets real. Jesus yeah. gets really real right. to people. Like mm -hmm. yeah. it doesn't matter whatever happens in that little girl's life, she'll know that Jesus oh, loves her. Oh, she'll remember that. that Jesus forever. touched her. Yeah. And, and that's the thing, right? People uh, that don't even believe in miracles, when they yes. have one, yes. they change their theology. Yeah.